So let us uh, see a few more questions on data structures which may be asked in interview or viva. Let us start with uh, the basic question what is data structure? Data structure, this is the logical and mathematical model of particular organization of data which is called as data structure. So there are two types of data structure, linear and non-linear. Then the second question is what are the goals of data structure? You may answer like this, it must uh, rich enough in structure to reflect the actual relationship of data in real world. So the structure should be simple enough and efficient for processing of data. When you may be asked, uh, what does abstract uh, data type mean? Data type is a collection of values and set of operations on these values. So abstract data type or ADT refers to the mathematical concept to define the data type. So it is a useful tool for specifying the logical properties of data type. So for example, ADT consists of two parts, a value definition, uh, definition and operation definition. Right? So what is the difference between a stack and an array? Stack is uh, an ordered collection of uh, items and again, array is also an ordered collection of items. Stack is a dynamic object whose size is constantly changing as items are pushed in power. And array is a static object that is a number of items is fixed and is assigned by the declaration of array. So stack may contain different types and here array it contains same data types. Stack is declared as a structure containing an array to hold the element of a stack and an integer to indicate the current top within the array. While array can be home of a stack, okay, you can implement a stack by an array, an array can be declared large enough for maximum size of the stack. Now next question comes is what do you mean by recursive definition? The definition which defines an object in terms of simpler cases of itself is called recursive definition, means calling itself. Now let us see what is sequential search. In sequential search, each item in the array is compared with the item being searched until a match occurs. It is applicable to a table organized either as an array or a linked list. So what actions are performed when a function is called? The function is called argument are passed, local variables are allocated and initialized and transferring of control to the function. What actions are performed when a function returns? Return address is received, retrieved, function data area is fred or freed, cleared and branch is taken to the return address. What is a linked list? A linked list is a linear collection of data elements called nodes, where the linear node a linear order is given by pointers. Each node has two parts. First part contains the information of the element. Second part contains the address of the next node in the list. Right? That, that is why we call it as a link list. It is a linear connection of data. What are the advantages of link list over an array? That is, uh, array is a static data structure. So the disadvantage of array are unlike link list, it is expensive to insert and delete elements in the array. Right? One can't double or triple the size of array as it occupies a block of memory space. In link list, uh, each element in list contains a field called the link or a pointer, which contains the address of the next element. The successive elements may not occupy adjacent spaces in the memory. Okay, it can be anywhere. Can we apply a binary search algorithm to a sorted link list, and why? No, we cannot apply a binary search algorithm to a sorted link list since there is no way of indexing the middle element in the list. This is a drawback of using link list as a data structure. What do you mean by a free pool? Pool is a list uh, consisting of unused memory cells which has its own pointer. This is why it is a free pool. Now, what do you mean by garbage collection? It is often asked. It is a technique in which the operating system periodically collects all the deleted space onto the free storage list and it takes place when the, there is a minimum amount of space left in the storage list or when CPU is idle. So the alternate method to, uh, to do this is to immediately reinsert the space with free local or storage list which is somewhat time consuming. What do you mean by underflow and overflow? 
when a new data is inserted into the data structure then there is no available space if it is at all, if it all it happens that is free storage list is empty this situation is called under uh, overflow and we want to delete data from the data structure that is already empty this situation is called underflow what are the disadvantages of array implementation of linked list if you want to uh, you know implement linked list to an array so there is uh, the number of nodes needed can't be predicted when the program is written and the number of nodes declared must remain allocated throughout its execution this is the problem what is a queue a queue is an ordered collection of items from which items may be deleted at one end and item in can be inserted at the other end that is rear end it obeys first in first out rules so there is no limit to the number of elements a queue contains what is a priority queue the priority queue is a data structure in which the intrinsic ordering of the element that is numeric or alphabetic is there to determining the result of its basic operation it is of two types ascending priority queue here smallest item can be removed insertion is arbitrary and descending priority queue means here largest items can be removed then we may be asked what are the disadvantage of sequential storage because we have fixed amount of storage uh, it remains located to the data structure even if it, is, it contains less element and no more than fixed amount of data is allocated causing overflow what are the disadvantage of representing stack or queue by a linked list the node in a linked list that is info and next field occupies more storage than corresponding element in the array all right so additional time spent in managing the available list what is a dangling pointer and how to avoid it after a call of free free this function or any freeness this makes a subsequent reference to star p that is the pointer p at this illegal that is through the storage to p is free but the value of p uh, that is address remain unchanged so the object at that address may be used as the value of star p there is no way to detect the illegality here p is called the dangling pointer to avoid this it is better to set up uh, or set p to null after executing this free p so if null pointer value doesn't reference uh, a story location it is a pointer that doesn't point to anything what are disadvantages of linear list you cannot reach any of the node that precede p because we have to traverse it if a list is uh, is traversed the external pointer to the to the link must be uh, preserved uh, in order to reference the list again define this circular list in linear list the next uh, field to the last node contains a null pointer when the next field is in the last node contains pointer back to the first node this is called a circular list the advantage is from any point in the list it is possible to reach at any other point right what are the disadvantages of circular list we can't traverse the list backward It means if a pointer to a node is given we cannot delete the node define this double linked list it is a collection of data elements called nodes where each node is divided into three parts an information field that contains the information stored in the node then the left field and the right field the left field that contain uh, the pointer to the node which is left on the left side and right field that contains pointer to the node on the right side then come is it necessary to sort a file before searching a particular item uh if less work is involved in searching an item than to sort and then extract then we don't go for sort if frequent use of file is required for the purpose of retrieving element a specific element it is more efficient to sort the file so thus it depends on the situation right and what are the issues that hamper the efficiency in sorting a file the issues are the length of the time uh, required by the programmer in coding a particular sorting program amount of machine time necessary for running a particular program and amount of space necessary for the particular program now calculate the efficiency of a sequential search the number of comparison depend on where the record with the argument key appears in table so if it appears at the first position then one comparison if it appears at the last comparison it is n comparison so n plus 1 by 2 comparison average 
unsuccessful search of n comparison number of comparison is a order of n then is any implicit arguments are passed to a function when it is called yes there is a set of implicit arguments that contain information necessary for the function to execute and return correctly one of them is return address which is stored within the function's data area at the time of returning to a calling program the address is retrieved and the function branches to that location so these are implicit argument also parenthesis is never required in postfix and prefix expression why parenthesis is not required because the order of the operator in the postfix and prefix expression determines the actual order of operation in evaluating the expression so if you have a parenthesis you can a simple expression you can convert it to postfix and prefix now this has a proper uh, evaluation scheme so this was the basic idea about uh, few questions and we'll be covering more thank you so much